Hello everyone, this is Sheena with Sheena Sells Thrifty Treasures. And everybody knows that I can't garden outside anymore because I've moved. And so I wanted to show people what you could do indoors. So I started these back in the winter in the grow, the grow tent so that they would be ready for coming out uh, this summer. And so I like to ferment. And these are peppers. I plan on making hot sauce and all kinds of stuff. Um, so what I did was I brought them out and I'm hardening them off. I will leave them out here in the light for a couple hours and then I'll put them back to shade until they acclimate and get used to being out in the light. Um, because everybody knows a grow tent light is different than the sunlight. So what I have here, uh, another thing I'd like to add is you can grow in any size container. This right here is just a styrofoam cup and you know with your plants if you make them root bound they will bloom it is their way of survival they'll bloom and they will form fruit or vegetables to preserve themselves so that's nature's way of uh, evolving you know so this is a small one i had in my tent it's just a, a styrofoam cup i think it's 16 ounces and this is a jalapeno, which I'm going to have to take those jalapenos off. I'm going to repot these uh, this weekend. This one right here is a white Thai. Uh, and I do double my seeds. So some of these I'll split up. This is a habanero. It don't look so great, but it'll, it'll recover. It'll be okay. You know, peppers take a lot longer to grow than anything else because they are trees. A lot of people don't know that. This is a gnarly scorpion. Uh, this one right here is a scotch bonnet. And this one right here is a death spiral. Death spiral looks really good. Uh, this one right here is a red salvania. And what a red salvania is basically is just a larger habanero. Really nice. This has already got a fruit on it too. Because they were forced to... Uh, bloom and fruit because they are root bound I'm sure this is a cane star white tie this is another red sylvania because I love to use habaneros and sauces I brought out um, the out of the grow tent the cranky system which is hydroponic and as you see let me make sure you can see that right there is tomatoes we have tomatoes and it's readjusting to the light uh, it's fine it will recover they always do so I just wanted to let people know whether you're disabled or you don't have anywhere to grow there are ways to grow the hydroponic system I have is not a name brand and it works fantastic I'll show you guys that later in a short um, on all those peppers that I'll be fermenting uh, I'll be doing that probably in the morning so yeah this is a start of, of a wonderful summer you uh i'm used to putting my hands in soil but now i'm putting them in soil and pots but it'll be okay because you know what i'm still able to do what i love and that's all that matters so with that being said i just wanted to give you guys an update look out for my short i'll show you the hydroponic system inside that is very reasonably priced and I did a couple of videos telling you what I use to be successful. It doesn't have to be hard. You don't have to make it hard. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to have peppers, and I'm looking forward to that. So, here we go. <laughs> here we go. So, happy summer, or at least we're coming to summer. Happy summer. Um, grow something, even just a few things, whether it's banana peppers or tomatoes. You know, put a pot on your, your deck and enjoy the fruits of your labor um it's a blessing to be able to do this and i enjoy doing it and i love uh reaping the harvest which is always fantastic so thank you guys for watching uh, i'll do another video showing you updates on these little babies because i hadn't did an update in a while but these came out of the grow tent and i started all these back in the winter and tomatoes on the cranky system, which is hydroponic, has done really good. Doesn't require any kind of brain science. It's just a bucket with water and nutrients and let it grow. Anyway, 
I love you guys so very much. Love you to the moon. I am a reseller, so if you would like to uh, come over and find fantastic jewelry and fun, I sell crystals, rocks as well, and a little bit of everything, you are more than welcome to attend. So thank you again, and have a beautiful day. And guys, have a beautiful day. I love you all, and I'll see you soon.